we're talking Talking about what's eating you Talking about what's eating you this field trip is proudly brought to you by Rogers Hood Apothecary. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to What's Eating You. We are your hosts, Sam. And Kim. And we are on a really special field trip today. Kim, tell us where we're at. We're at Dave Asprey's Upgrade Labs here in Seattle, Bellevue, Washington. We're about to show you guys some state-of-the-art, high-tech modalities we've never shown you before that you can only find here at Upgrade Labs. So let's go. Hey y'all, welcome into Upgrade Labs. My name is Claudia, I'm the manager here at the facility. We are so excited to show you around today and starting off with the cell health analysis, we're gonna get some great data points to help support and boost some recovery and fitness modalities, getting some really unique data points in order to help our wonderful ladies today. So you can go ahead and step right on up. Okay. So you can put your heels on the back and the front of your foot forward, okay. beautiful. It's just gonna take your weight right now. All right, weight's been calculated and then tap the height and age. You look like you're in your 20s, you hey. look incredible. <laughs> Thank you girl. I'm Absolutely. And then we're just gonna take these two handles right here and we're gonna bring those straight up and then put your thumbs over the ovals and then hold your arms out to the side so they're not touching your body. Perfect. And just hold that for one minute. So this machine is using bioelectrical impedance to measure the different weight elements in the body from the limbs and all the way up to inflammation and water distribution. Wow. So that's what this is currently calculating. So in under a minute, you get these really great data points that can change day to day depending on the circumstances. But we like to use this every two weeks to a month to kind of measure the effectiveness of the treatments that we're doing here. Perfection, you are all set. You can set those handles back down now. Okay. And we'll get your print out here so you can put your socks That's and shoes it? on. That's wow, it. Wow, that was easy. Quick and easy. We're gonna put the heels on that circle right there. So just okay. like a footprint. There you go, perfect, just like that. It's gonna be a little cold. It's really nice and a lot of places will charge like $100 to do one scan at a gym. So it's it's really cool to have this and unlimited scans as a member. So you can really utilize this as much as you really want to. The trends that you can get just from looking at month to month changes and seeing like, oh, this month my inflammation was really low but my skeletal muscle mass was really like also low as well. Like if you wanted to balance those two out you can kind of reference back to what you were doing then. Super quick and easy. So doing any lymphatic drainage before cryo is just gonna help to prepare the lymph nodes for the amount of flushing out that the cryo is gonna do as well. We want you to feel nice and relaxed. Cryo does offer that really relaxing effect as well, but this is going to just help to further ground the body, help just drain out any of those detox pathways that might be a little clogged up. And you might wanna take a nap here and then wake up with cryo after. VIP treatment. <laughs> Perfect. So the squeeze should be moving from the feet up all the way to the stomach, which is going to feel really nice and relaxing. Sometimes you get it from the stomach down to the feet. This is really just going to help to promote better blood flow, circulation, really great for helping with edema, cellulite, and overall just boosting your lymphatic drainage efficiency. So right now we have you on a general lymphatic system setting. We also have ones for reduced inches. We have them for athletic recovery for more of a muscular um, reboot. It feels so good. So good. <laughs> it just feels like this big squeeze. It feels the best when it moves to the hips and then it goes back down and it just feels like it's giving you a big hug, but it's moving your lymph, which is really hard for a lot of us chronically ill people. The red light on the face is a really nice touch. It's really great for collagen production, added circulation in the face and helping with all sorts of skin uh, related issues. So we could even do multicolor oh. for wound support for any sort of bruising or scarring. So you can really get some additional support in here. And then of course, later on in the red light, you can utilize that for even more work, so. Mitochondrial health, right? Absolutely. Health. Yes, absolutely. Rebuilding the mitochondria is really important to us here. So this is going to really help with that. So they're already experts at cryo. Okay. Is this you? Yeah, oh my gosh. Go. Yeah. I love that. For anyone who's a little bit uh, nervous to go in, we don't have to go in right at extreme. So obviously they've done it plenty of times. All right, you ready? We're yes. ready. Three, two, one, go. Woo! 
Doing this is gonna put your body in a fight or flight response, which is gonna lower inflammation and help with your lymphatic system drainage, which is gonna further boost the effects of the squeeze of the PEMF. Everything here that's circulating, this is just gonna boost that circulation, help with a great night of sleep. So hopefully they feel that relaxation when they come out and they're gonna get plenty of endorphin rushes as well from this. So usually we're looking for a 20 to 30 degree drop. That's when all these benefits start to kick in. And they're doing awesome taking selfies in cryo. We love to see it. No gloves on too. Don't do this at home. Okay. They don't look the slightest bit uncomfortable in there. They just look like they're having the time of their lives. We love to see it. <laughs> Ready? All right. <laughs> that was pretty cold. Yeah. yeah, you got a little bit of snow on you too. It's really cold. Great job, you two. Did that feel nice? It felt great. A little cool off? Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Good boost. Awesome. Okay. So for measurements, we can do that really quick. Sure. So just lift up your leg for me like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, All so right. the bike height is right. Pop, Pop on, on in right like here. this. Yeah. And then we're just gonna gear you up with a little watch. I now know, know how much stuff. I weigh because of your other thing. Right. Thank you. All right, and then how physically active are you? I'm very. Love that. What do you like to do? A lot of bar, hiking, weights, Fun. yoga. You got your aura ring to get in your data. Yes, Perfect. always. All right, for the tiger simulation, that's kind of going over the exact concept that you're looking at is we were trained primarily as a species to only run and exercise because we needed to get away from something coming to get us and then to recover our energy right away. So that's what that simulation is going to do on this bike here. The point of this is not for fat loss for most people. We do have fat loss as a setting, but really what we're looking to do is build up your VO2 max, how much oxygen you can use during a workout and be able to bring your body back to homeostasis so you can go ahead and keep getting those big bursts of energy out over time. Okay. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Awesome. So pedal as slow as you can. It's gonna give you some prompts up top of the screen. So it's gonna tell you go very slow. It's kind of hard to go that slow for some people. So you're really forced to slow down on this one. You can go a little bit faster. We're running in slow motion today. So you're just practicing deep breathing. You wanna keep that under 20 on the left dial, perfect. And your heart rate's about 70. We're looking for it to hit that green zone once we get to the sprint. So just keep that in mind. We know we can build up the challenge level at any point on this. It's a nine minute bike ride, so we can really play around with the settings. There are fat burn settings as well for those who want to use that. But for anyone who's dealing with autoimmune diseases or heavy detox of things in the body, we really wanna have you go nice and low and slow. And this is gonna help to train you in a more efficient way that's not so hard on your body. It's giving you more stress. So we don't need more stress on the body. We're giving the body little intermittent bursts of stress just enough to push you over and help you improve. The AI adaptive resistance is gonna kick in in 15 seconds. That's gonna start measuring how much energy you're putting out. So I want you to stand or push as hard as you can during those sprints. And you're gonna feel the pedals start to mimic the energy that you're putting out. So that's where that added challenge is gonna be. So go ahead and start getting that momentum built up. We're running away from the tiger now. You're gonna feel yourself hitting that. Perfect. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I wanna see you go further on that line. Look at you go, perfect. Nice, 10 more seconds. She's doing amazing. Come on, get away from the tiger faster. Nice. So much energy output, perfect. Look at you, perfect. So it gives you a nice slope right there showing you your highest point was 407 watts of power. Incredible, I can't even hit that. So amazing job. So now bringing your body back down into homeostasis in between those two sprints is what we're looking for. So now we're just on that gentle walk again. So there's a lot of recovery here. No matter if you're working out or not, you're gonna have recovery. She's locked in. Oh, she's locked in. <laughs> Is it a sprint? Round two, last sprint of the workout. Give it everything you got. Go for it, you're doing awesome. You got 12 more seconds push. Let's see if we can get you above that 407 watts. Oh yeah, she's locked in. Last five seconds. Nice, three, two. Now back to relaxing. Now it's gonna ask how you feel and it's gonna give you a little bit of feedback based off of that at the very end. You crushed it. That was your whole workout for today. So now you can save your energy for doing anything else you want. 
Amazing. Second line almost hit exactly that last one. It was a little bit more challenging this time because you had exerted so much energy the first time. This is just going to help you keep getting better so that second red line is going to start matching or going above that first white line. Cool. Awesome 407 job. what? What is Watts. this? Watts of power. That's amazing. Really? Yes, I've seen men do less than that. So great job, girl. You're killing it. Thank Not that we're comparing. Everyone's great. Everyone's doing awesome, but feeling strong today. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying, Sam's strong over here. Appreciate this is impressive, Thanks, absolutely. Girl. And then in two minutes, we're gonna see how her VO2 max score comes out from the first ride. You get your heart rate nice and high. I love to see that. So that's perfect. You're getting all those benefits in just nine minutes every single time. Okay, so now this is my results. Beautiful. Your fitness score is gonna be your VO2 max. That's incredible. Okay, so fitness score of 29.6. Yeah. Okay. I think that would put you somewhere in the, say, 50 or 60 percentile for your age and demographic. So that's going to be calculated using a tracker online for VO2 Max. So it's based off of your age and whether you're male or female. And then that's going to be measured through their watch. Your calories burned, you actually got a really huge amount of calories burned in this one. 115 calorie burn in nine minutes, which is awesome. Peak power hit 407, we're going to be tracking that progress over time. And peak heart rate was ideal. So right above the target range, we can definitely get some wiggle room in there, but great first ride. Awesome. Thanks, girl. You got that was it. Great. Thank you. Great job. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, share with your loved ones. Help us get all of this helpful, impactful information out to as many people as possible that it can help. We love y'all. Thanks for the support. Let's go.